Luke chapter 8. And we'll actually cut all the way down to verse number 40. Luke chapter 8. We'll cut down to verse number 40. This morning we want to preach on the woman with the issue of blood touching the hem of his garment a heart burden this morning for those with needs that only God can help those with needs that only God can help those that have been dealing with personal need for quite some time. So let me re reiterate that our burden this morning. We're going to be preaching on the woman with the issue of blood, touching the hem of the garment, and we're going to endeavor to bring out what this means. Our burden is for those that have needs that only God can help. Those that have needs, they're dealing with the matter that only God can help. Also, those that have been dealing with the matter for some time, it's one thing to deal with an issue, but it's a total different thing when you're dealing with something that won't go away. Also, we want to declare the power of God and his ability to meet the needs of mankind and to back up his word. May God inspire our faith through his word this morning. We'll be looking at, and we could have looked at many, many different accounts. That's what the scriptures are for, to give us inspiration on what God is able to do. We're going to look at just one account today, and that is the woman with the issue of blood, who had the issue of blood, also touching the hem of his garment. Let us begin reading verse 40 down through verse 48. And it came to pass. And it came to pass, this was after Jesus had cast out the devils, the man that was possessed with devils, he had also recently found his disciples were in a ship. In the storm, he had calmed those waters. So here he had been doing many works, and it came to pass, it almost as if his work never ceased. And I'm thankful that we serve a God, amen, whose work never cease. He does not get tired. Amen. God goes from one house to the next, from one laboring to the next. He doesn't take time off. Amen. He doesn't need you to call him back. Amen. You don't have to worry about him getting some rest. Amen. Thank the Lord. Once he leaves your house, your situation, thank the Lord. Then he's over in Africa somewhere dealing with that situation. Amen. You're thinking, okay, I finally gave God some rest tonight. He finally, he, you didn't give God no rest. Amen. He doesn't need any rest. Amen. So if you read this account, you'll see he went from casting out demons to calming waters, putting out fire. Fires, amen. Putting families back together, one situation after another, after another. That's the God that we serve, amen. So here he comes, and it says it comes to pass, and it came to pass that when Jesus was returned, when he was returned from doing all that work, now he's coming back to his community. Now he's coming back for where he lives, amen. Come on and read. The people gladly received him. The people gladly received him. For they were all waiting for him. Amen. They had heard about him, amen. Amen. It's like if you went out and done some great things, you come back home. Everybody's like, oh, stay home. They home. They home. Oh, so-and-so's back home. Amen. Well, they had been hearing about this man named Jesus. Amen. And they began to hear all that he had done in the great works. So they were waiting for him. Come on and read. And behold. Yes. There came a man named Jairus. There came a man named Jairus. And he was a ruler of the synagogue. He was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet. He was highly esteemed. He was highly spiritual, but he realized, I ain't got what you got. 
Amen. So he humbled himself. Come on and read. And besought him that he would come. Saints of God, you got to humble yourself to get help from God. You got to humble yourself to get help from God. My God, you got to humble yourself. Amen. You got to be broken and contrite. If you're out there in sin, your life is not going like you planned. Amen. You're living off peanuts, so to speak. Amen. You wake up with problems. You have no real self-worth. My God, nothing you're doing is any of, of, of any real substance. My God, you have some needs in your life. My God, you got to humble yourself. You can't have your chest stuck out like I got it going on. I don't need to be saved. I got it going on. Y'all don't need to talk to me. Don't say nothing to me when it's off the door. I, got, I know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. Amen. None of us knew what we were doing. Amen. We all need help from God. Amen. Those that are saved today it's because at some point all of us humbled ourselves. We didn't try to stick our chests out. Act like we all that with our shoes on, with our clothes on, with this girl, with this boy. No, that's the facade. Amen. The Bible said there's a way that seemed right to a man. It seemed right. It looks right. It looks real cool, my God. But eventually you're going to find out the way of the transgressor is hard. Amen. Man, you're going to find out it's no joke out there in sin. You're going to find out, my God, that sin cannot satisfy that craving deep down. You can meet the girl. You can meet the boy. You can hit the lottery. You can get dropped. You can do all the things you want to do. But if you're looking to be fulfilled in the things of the world, you're going to find out eventually that this world cannot satisfy the longing down in your soul. You're going to come and drink from a well that Jesus has. You drink from that well, you will never thirst again, amen. But you got to humble yourself. Get off your high horse. Quit acting like you got it going. Quit acting like you're all of that. You need help from God. We know it. God knows it. Let's humble ourselves and receive it this morning. Amen. I'm so thankful that God allowed me the grace to humble myself. I didn't even want to go to the altar of prayer. The altar God came out. I couldn't. No, no, no. I'm not walking out. Don't say nothing to me, Brother Webb. Do you know who I am? Do you know what I've done? How you gonna come talk to me about go? Do I want to be? I, don't say nothing to me. I didn't say those words, but that's where I felt. That's where I kind of treated him. Just pride, pride, just stinking and empty on the inside. Miserable, praying every night. Lord, help me not to go too far. Lord, help me not to die in sin. Lord, help me not to go too far. Lord, I want to be saved. Lord, give me a mind to be saved. But here my moment came and pride tried to stop me from walking down an altar of prayer because the devil told me if you walk down there, they're going to know you need help. Well, I did need help. I did need help, my God. I didn't want to waste my life. I didn't want to live a life and have to look back and say, I wish I would have got saved. On, Another statistic. I've seen so many changed children get up. I'm good. I don't need to be saved. And every one of their lives, every one of them without fail, ends up messed up. Why? Because you need God. I don't care who you are. I got a lot of money. The Bible said, what shall it profit? A man, if he gained the whole world, is it worth your soul? Is it worth it? And let me just tell you this. More money, more problems. More money, more problems. Your problems are not going to get more complicated. Now you're going to have situations. You have, when you think about getting saved, now you got million dollar questions to deal with. Before you were dealing with 50 cent questions. <laughs> Talking about I want money. Are you sure? Are you for real? The devil gets you caught up out there and sin. My God, you have to deal with all of that. No, 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 no. It's best. That's why the Bible said, remember now thy creator. In the day, when? In the days of thy youth. Why? Before you get all twisted and turned up and the devil messed you all up, my God. Come on and read. For he had one only daughter, about 12 years of age. So Jairus humbled himself, and we're hoping that somebody this morning will see that they have a need that only God can meet, and they'll humble themselves and get that need met. Come on and read. He had one daughter. About the 12 years of age. She's about 12 years old. And she lay a dying. And she lay a dying. But as he went, the people thronged him. But as he went, the people thronged him. And the woman having an issue of blood 12 years. Hold on now. So here this famous, popular, uh, influential person, so to speak, who's a leader of the synagogue, daughter is laying ill. Now remember that time they walked everywhere. Daughter lay dying. They didn't have I-75s. Highway 10s out in 
California. They didn't have thoroughfares where you go five car deep. These were, this was, matter of fact, this wasn't Corinth. This wasn't Thessalonica, Ephesus. A small city. And the streets were made to walk down. Bu buildings close together. When they were walking down, maybe as wide as, it, wide as it is up here. When they were walking down, Jesus walking down, going to Jairus' house to raise his daughter. These people came chest to chest, elbow to elbow with him. It was kind of like if you ever seen an entourage of a famous person who happened to be in public and somebody identify him. And it's just like, oh, as far as you can see. But their security is around them. And they're like this. And they're walking. And they're, they're all around them is a, is a security. It's 12. They're all around him like this, and he's walking down here, and, and there's so many people just jam-packed, jam-packed, just hundreds of deep, and he's walking through here, he's going to Jairus' house, and it's jam-packed. Keep that as a visual. All right. Come on, read, but Frank. And a woman. No, where was he going? Jairus' house? Yeah. So here, it says, and a woman. What's her name? Don't even give a name. I'm thankful that we serve a God that will take care of the no names. My God. Amen. He was on his way to Jairus' house. Famous. All right. But on his way. All right. Listen. My Lord. Right. I'm not one of the elite families. I don't have the heritage that maybe you got. I don't have the bank account. I don't put the same amount that you may put in. I don't have a voice that can come up here and just 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 cause you to swoon in the spirit. I can't break open the word of life and make you just say, oh, that was so good. I don't have any of that. But I'm just thankful that we serve a God that on his way to the important folk house, amen, he will intervene for the no-name people. That he'll intervene. Don't you ever worry about playing politics. You don't have to worry about, they don't like me. That. They don't need, as long as you got Jesus, that's all you need, amen. You may be on the back. You may be in the corner, my God. You may not run like so-and-so, but I want you to know, Jesus know the number of hairs on your head. He know how you feel when you walked in. He got your back. Jesus don't have respect of person. If it's Jairus, my God, or a no-name woman. With what? And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years. And it's amazing how humanity would do you. Bad enough that she wasn't named, and now she going to be remembered by her issue. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be re remembered by your issue. Oh, that's brother so and so. He the one that uh, he, you remember? He he went to uh, he did. Oh, that's sister so and so. Yeah, she. Okay, hey, 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 sister abortion. How you doing? Okay, brother so and so. Hey, 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 hey brother, uh, twenty five to life. How you doing? Hey, brother, oh, how you doing back? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh, uh, bro, 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 brother, that messed with that little girl that you said. Okay, yeah, okay, brother. How many of y'all would want to be known by your issue? But I'm thankful that God don't remember us by our issue. Thank the Lord. Lord knows, my God. No, I'm so, so here, having an issue of blood, how long? 12 years. Now, you must understand the depth of this. She had an issue of blood for 12 years. Not 12 days. Some of us can't take a, 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 a bellyache for half the night. We call everybody in the church waking everybody up. And don't let it go two days. Don't let it go three. Oh, for 12 years. An issue of blood. 12 years. Go over to Leviticus. Keep your finger right there. Go over to Leviticus chapter 15, verse 19. This was beyond just a common situation. Sometimes we're going to have complex situations. Mm -hmm. Nobody but God understands. You know why, saints? Because all we look at is what's on the surface. Oh, brother so-and-so, he got a uh, situation. You don't understand. That situation, or sister so-and-so is dealing with this. 
you just saying, oh, she got this. But do you realize that she's dealing with that or he's right. dealing with that and that is impacting this over here and that's causing him not to have the income that he should have and that's causing him the friction over here. Now he has to deal with this over here. She had way more than just a simple issue of blood. Come on and read. And if a woman have an issue. And if a woman have an issue. And her issue is in her flesh. And her issue is in her flesh. Be blood. She shall be put apart seven days. She shall be put apart seven days. And whosoever oh, no. touches her. So if she got an issue, put her away. Don't talk to her. She couldn't talk to nobody. She couldn't be around those she loved. She hadn't been around her family in 12 years. She hadn't been to the temple to hear the word in 12 years. She couldn't go anywhere in public. She couldn't hold a baby in 12 years. She couldn't break bread to eat with anybody. 12 years. So she didn't just have an issue of blood. She had an issue of loneliness. Sometimes you can deal with some issues that cause you to be kind of lonely. Because of what you're dealing with. Nobody really understands what you're going through. So here, come on and read, brother. It says seven days. Because it was, only supposed to, her. it was only supposed to last, but so long. I'm not going to get too graphic, but some conditions are only supposed to last so long. Amen. But here, it lingered much longer than normal. Amen. Sometimes we're going to deal with some things that lingers much longer. Right than we thought they would. And that's when you're going to be able to testify to the grace of God. My when God. you look back and say, I thought I was just going to deal with this. I remember one of the sisters had a situation with seizures or something it was. And here she was, she couldn't drive and she couldn't work and she couldn't do it. It was like six, three months, uh, three weeks, three months, uh, two years, only one year. But she began to testify after the fact and she would testify on how her bills was paid. How she didn't, uh, uh, she, she was able to eat, how God blessed her and brought her through this, that, and the other and she was able to testify of the grace of God. When you're going through something that lingers and lingers and lingers, you're going to get two testimonies out of that. You're going to get a testimony of deliverance once God come through, but you also going to get a testimony of the grace of God because there's no way you should have been a, a, a sound mind, sound body. There's no way your bills should have been paid. You should have been homeless. You should have been crazy. Don't you realize humanity needs fellowship? We need communication with people. She should have been out of her mind. She should have been having anxiety at Text. She should have been suicidal. She should have had. Matter of fact, go keep going. Come on, and read. The woman with the issue, but come on, and read. And whosoever touches her, whosoever touch her, shall be unclean until the even. Shall, if nobody can even come around, let's get down to verse twenty-five. And if a woman have an issue in her in her in her blood, mm -hmm. many days out of the time of her separation, or if it run beyond the time of her separation. Mm -hmm. All the days of the issue of cleanliness. So she couldn't, if she had the issue, it was supposed to be seven days. She says, listen, this is only supposed to be seven days, so I'm going to stay away. It said, no, 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 no. If it lingers longer than all the days. Come on, we're going somewhere. Come on, but Frank. If, if it run beyond the time of her separation, uh -huh. all the days of the issue of her uncleanness shall be the days of her separation. She shall be unclean. So this woman was unclean in society, ceremonially unclean for 12 years. Dealing with this issue for so long. She says the devil will try to break you. If you have a situation that's lingering, the enemy will try to break you. Try to have you quit pursuing it. It's a miracle that she even pursued it. I'm going to get to this in a moment. Don't you stop pursuing your healing. Don't you stop pursuing your victory. Don't you stop pursuing your breakthrough. I don't care how many times you've gotten prayer for it. My God, if God inspires you, you go after that thing again. Amen. Don't give up, my God, on the promises of God in your situation. Don't give up on that child that's out there for 12 years. Don't you give up. Don't stop praying for that child. Don't give up on your marriage. Don't give up on your children. Don't give up, my God, on your prayer. If you're waiting on them, don't one of the things the devil will try to do is to wait you out. You got fire, you got inspiration, a message comes, get you inspired about it. But they say, just wait, just wait. She gonna stop. Don't stop, amen. Keep expecting, amen. Don't, she said here, sometimes people will say, I'm tired of bothering the saints. I don't want to keep putting a prayer request in. I got this issue I'm dealing with. I don't want to keep bothering them. I got this situation that I'm dealing with. It's right here. Oh my god, I got no 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 no. Where 
the saints out, wear God out, amen, don't stop, I don't care how long it lasts, amen, until you get your need met, until your situation, listen, you are saints, if you're a saint of God, you have the right, everything about you should be normal. Yeah. Let me say that again. He said, I wish that thou prosper and be in health. Everything, if it's not normal, then stand on, I, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself. If it's not normal, then you got to promise my God in God's word. If you can just stand on it, we declare it, amen. We, our faith is inspired. We don't have to learn to live with nothing, amen. amen. I appreciate being in the back room with Brother Hampton. And he comes up in there and he said, listen, listen, whoa, whoa, whoa. we don't have to learn to live with this. We don't have to learn to live. I appreciate grace, but I read somewhere about deliverance. I appreciate grace, but I read somewhere about healing. See, the law was just to lead them until Christ, thank God. Grace, amen, will lead us when we're waiting on God until our healing, but it's not what we're going to settle for. The glory comes when we get healed. Go back to the text. So here we just saw that this woman with the issue of blood her situation was far more grievous than just some hemorrhaging or, or some issue of blood, which was bad enough. She hadn't seen her children, hadn't seen if she had any, she hadn't seen her family if she had any. She hadn't been to the temple, she hadn't eaten with anyone, she hadn't. Met. Keep going, but Frank. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, uh -huh. which has spent all her living upon physicians. She was broke. See, sometimes you could be dealing with some issue. But issues, I'm just going to tell you, saints, if you deal with deep enough issues long enough, pretty soon it's going to affect your finances. Now you're talking about, whoa. See, some folk haven't even really been through nothing. Let me say that again. Some folk ain't been so and so talked about me. <laughs> Until you done been through some complicated stuff that ain't going nowhere. That you got to deal with. Every time you wake up, you know, I still got to deal with this. Sometimes you look down, is it still there? You get the mirror, is it still there? Hold on, my God. You go season after season after season after season. Don't give up. Come on, my friend. Hey. Don't give up. Come on. Oh, God. Which has spent all her living upon physicians. She has spent all her living on physicians. See, some things only God can do. Right. Some things only God can bless. Read, brother. What verse you at? I'm going to read. Neither could be healed of any. Neither could be healed of any. Came unto him uh -huh. and touched the border of his garment. Came unto him and touched the border of his garment. Yeah. And immediately, yeah. and immediately, her issue of blood staunched. And immediately, her issue of blood stopped, staunched, was done, dried up. Dried up. It was over with. Wasn't no six week process. It didn't slow down. Immediately, it was dried up. Thank God, saints, we still believe in miracles. Amen. Thank God, God is a God of my miracles. God, my God. Thank God, God is a God of the immediate, my yes. God. According to your faith. My if Lord. your faith can take that in, then you can receive it. My I will God, show you God. in God's word this morning my that Lord. this is what she came for. Many people think that she was saying that if I can just, uh, 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 he don't got to anoint me and, uh, uh, and put oil all over me. And No, 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 no. He, I, 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 I'm humble. All I got to do is just, just get around. If I can just touch then he had come through oh this wasn't fat she knew exactly what she wanted she knew exactly what she was standing on she had read God's word she understood what she was going after My she Lord. understood the garment that he had on over his garment that come down over his neck that and what it understood the talents the tisit that amen and what it represented in the Hebrew and what it stood for she was saying not by accident I'm not just trying to get around him I'm going after exactly what he said and I'm a hold to that matter of fact he don't even need to get my attention I don't need to get his attention I don't need him to see me why because his word is as strong as his touch his word is forever settled in heaven I'm going after his word he has to back up his word my God come on and read brother Frank amen come on and read brother amen. I'm sorry go back and let's read over in Exodus we got numbers Let's read what this garment was. Numbers 15, 38. Numbers 15, 38. This is a new word. Come on to read. Numbers 15. Speak unto the children. Speak unto the children. Of Israel. Uh -huh. And bid them that they make them fringes on the borders of their garments throughout and their generations. Bid them 
that they make fringes on the border of their garment, in the border of their garment. Come on and read. Throughout their generations. Throughout their generations. And that they put upon the fringe. And that they put upon the fringe. Of the borders. Of the borders. A rib band of blue. A rib band of blue. Come on and read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. That ye may look upon it. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which you used to go a whoring. So here, this garment, even in the Hebrew, some of them used it as a prayer shawl. It would hang around the neck and hang all the way down. And there were four things at the bottom of it called tassels. It was in the Hebrew called the T-Z-I-T. Z-I-T, Tizit, and it represented the tassel, the border, or the fringe of the garment. They would also use this, this shawl, this garment that they would have. Now remember, Jesus was Hebrew. He, Jesus was Hebrew. He was Israelite. And he was a rabbi, as well as a messiah. He didn't come to do away with the law. He came to fulfill it. So here he comes, and he's walking through. Come on. And this garment here, even in the Hebrew, the men sometimes, when they really wanted to get before God and they were praying, they would take this and wrap their whole self over it so they would be completely not distracted. This represented the principle of entering to your closet. This represented that principle. So here, if they were in public, if they could go up to the closet in the house, that's one thing, but they're in public, and they really wanted to get into it, they would take this and wrap it all the way around their heads when they're kneeling and praying so they could just completely get with themselves and their God, the God of creation. So here he's walking through and this represented the word of God, the commandments of God. It said that there were 600 the word, the, uh, the Hebrew word tizit could be translated to 600 and Lord, but Stackhouse gonna keep us in order. Oh, yeah. Amen. When you see him, when you see him walking, you just stop. Amen. Now, Lord, help me gather my thought. So here, with this garment here, it represented the the commandments. There were six hundred. If you translate that word, it roughly means six hundred. There were six hundred and thirteen commandments uh, uh, in the law, and they had five knots at the end of the tassels each knot representing a book of the Torah of the 613 commandments 365 were prohibitions and 248 were affirmations prohibitions are kind of like thou shall not do this thou shall not do that and affirmations um, were thou shalt do this thou shalt do that so here it represented the word of God. This garment, it represented God's word, God's authority, the authority of God's word. So here you got God's word. It talked about blue representing there the divinity, divine, heavenly. He went up to the mount towards heaven, received the word from heaven. It said phase blue and blue was very difficult because to get it didn't come naturally. There was only a few things in, 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 in natural society or natural environment that could produce the color blue. So it was very costly. Blue, purple, those were very costly to make a garment. That's why the one was a seller of purple. That's big, big money. So here it said make it, dye it blue, weave it through there representing the divinity it also had white which represented the righteousness so here you got this garment here follow me saints of God this lady was no joke she knew what she was doing she knew God's word so here she had this garment I mean the garment would be worn by the rabbi <coughs> 
and it would hang low and actually the tassels would, would, would sometimes sweep the floor or walk and it, and it would represent uh, walking in God's word. You know, we, we, we walk in the word of God. It's represented that we, 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 we live according to the word of God. We walk according to the word of God and it uh, represented the word and authority of his word, the authority of God. That's why the garment many times, I think it was Samuel and Saul when he didn't do what he should have done and destroyed all of them it said that he left and he ripped his garment and he said Samuel said Saul that that's what God's gonna do to you because your authority is about to be taken from you what you did and you didn't obey God it, he knew he didn't just rip arbitrarily he ripped in that which represent matter of fact let me give you another one in regards to authority when David was going after Saul he went inside the mountain and Saul was in there sleeping and David saw him sleep said I'm not gonna do saints David almost messed up big time David just didn't just take a little piece saying I'm not David took his that that hint David took a little bit and God said, you bet you don't you don't if I don't give it to you, you don't do it so he did that and Saul knew he said I took you David said I did that he knew what he was doing so this represents something much more than just some arbitrary thing now this woman coming now and she seen the press she seen Jesus and she heard about him over in Matthew it said she began to hear of his fame it began to hear of his healings and she said whoa he's coming back when he was here I kind of knew but he talking about he the Messiah but he done went out it's gotten confirmed she had but at the time that's just little so and so but after he done went out and done some stuff and, and, and some signs and wonders and followed that whoa whoa, whoa I, I kind of thought something but now I have no more questions I have full confidence in who he is so when he came back she said oh my lord he's back he's back now I gotta get to him now mind you because there were so many people there and the press was so thick she had to figure out a way to get there it represents two things one is she had faith go over my God my God you say brother Lee connected dot though why what commandment what was she trying to get to with that garment go over to Malachi chapter 4 read verse number 2 for me why did she say it? I'm sorry go to Matthew first go to Matthew for we coming right to Malachi go to Matthew 9 21 the Bible says according to your faith what did her faith take in come on and read Matthew 9 21 for she said within herself she said to who for she said within herself she said within herself she believed this it's not a matter what other people believe she believes this it doesn't matter what well, sister so and so she got the same thing I don't know about her I don't know about her I, I, don't, I, I understand that don't ever let the devil cause you to be confused because you got a condition that other people might have but other people may not have received their healing yet they may need their faith built up in that area see you can't come to God arbitrarily you got to come to God with faith and understanding what you're coming with there was a bunch of people that came to Jesus that day. They were bumping into him left and right. His disciples said, how are you going to say, who touched me this day? He said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know a bunch of people got prayer. I know a bunch of people got in the line. But somebody touched me. Somebody came in that line with a faith in God for a particular word. Not a general word. Oh, he's a Messiah. I'm not coming to you generally. I'm coming into you specifically. When Jesus was praying and the devil tried to come he used specific things he said get thee behind me satan he used the word man shall not live by prayer he used the another guy he used specific word see when you really want to get a movement from God you're dealing with something specific you got to get specific with God that built your faith up there were a bunch of names of God you just didn't call people God or do we they didn't call him just God but they call him Jehovah Rapha when they needed this matter of fact hold on saints pray for me for a moment they called him El Shaddai when they said Lord God Almighty unlimited power all sufficient when I'm dealing with something and I need unlimited power I'm not dealing with some other I need El Shaddai to come this day when they needed my God a banner he called him Jehovah Nissi which means Lord my banner I'm in a battle and I'm representing you that's what David needed when he was up against Goliath he didn't call this God or that God this name or that name he didn't need healing right there 
He didn't need provision right there. He needed a banner. He said, God, I am going in your honor. Your banner is your flag. Who you flag are you fighting up under? Is it the United States? Is it Russia? Is it Germany? He said, no. The Lord, Church of God is my banner. Amen. The Hebrews is my banner. I'm not fighting this myself. I'm not standing for divine healing myself. Lord, I'm standing on your word. I am standing. I represent you. Lord, you're my banner. Amen. My so God, these were God. very specific things. Jehovah Ra, the Lord is my shepherd. When I needed a guide, a protector. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals. Jehovah Tishanu, the Lord our righteousness. If you need to be justified today, you need to be saved today. My you need God, to come out and say, God. Lord, I need your righteousness. There's some sins in my life, Lord God, that I'm not proud of. I need deliverance from them, Lord. I need forgiveness for them, Lord. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Then it says Jehovah Miskindin, which means Lord who sanctifies. In other words, all of these were specifics. God, Jehovah Jireh, Lord who will provide. Lord, I got a few needs. I need Jehovah over Jira to show up. I don't know what I'm going to feed my children after church. I don't know where I'm going to get this bill. Man. Lord Jehovah Jireh, I need you at this time. When you came to God in that level of specificity, you were coming for a specific reason. When she came to God and she went after his him. Read Malachi 4 2. Pray for us as we bring it in. Come on. Those with specific needs this morning. Come on. But unto you. Yes. That fear my name. That fear my name. Shall the son of righteousness arise with healing. Shall the son of righteousness arise with healing. In his wings. That Greek word, that Hebrew word there for wings is a tizit. Was the show the tassels? Malachi was declaring that he was coming and bringing with him in his wings. My God. When they fell in the garden, two things happened, mm. sin and sickness. He said he's going to come and he's going to deliver from sin and he's going to bring healing. Amen. So here, this is where Malachi, the last prophet, declared to look for it. She hadn't been to church in a long time, but she didn't forget the word of God. And when he was coming... She said in Matthew 9, 21, if I could just but touch that him. The last thing they told us was when he comes, the healing would be in the tizzit, in the wings. And it's that. And she believed in her heart the word of God. She said, now I just got one issue. It said she came from behind. She wasn't like uh, Nicodemus uh, uh, who uh, got up in the, in the, in the Zacchaeus that got up in the tree and said, I'm awake because I know he's coming by here. No, no, no. If there's a press back to forth in order for you to get to the person that's up ahead of it, then you got to walk twice as fast as they're walking. You're not sitting there as a little old lady and you waiting on him to come by. I'm not no, 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 no. I got a word and I'm going to press past everything and everybody that's between me and my killing. I'm pressing past unbelief. My devil, God. you telling me I'm not saved? I'm pressing past you, devil. My you God. telling me I'm never going to get healed? I'm pressing past you, devil. My you Lord. accusing me? Telling me I'm not saved? I'm not clear? I'm pressing past you, my devil. God. You're not going to hold me back. I've gotten before God. I said, God, if there's anything in my life that's not clear, I will repent right now. I have no pride. My I don't God. care if I need to ask for God. I just want to be clear. I want my killing. You got to press past everything that would hinder you. Now, you got to have some effort. She was weak. Should have been dead. The Bible said life is in the blood. Twelve years? You only got so much blood. She might have been at a negative four. Whatever that is. 
pale, weak, but present. See, when you want something bad enough, you ain't going to let nothing stop you from receiving it. When you want something bad enough, you won't let, I don't care, talk about me, dog me out. Took some risk. She could have got stoned. Because she could have made them unclean. She said she wasn't even poor. Talk, she could have got talked about. Because when she walking up there, right when they were walk and, and she stayed in public too much or exerted too much energy, then it was a little path would follow her. With with with, 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 with some drops but fine. So she could have been, uh now. Call me uh say what you want. When you want your killing, it don't matter, dog me. It don't matter. I'm going after talk about some folk, my God, having received some blessings of God, once again, pride. They had to go to an all. They had to, I don't want to say now. It don't matter what I got to do or say. I don't want nobody to know what I got. Hey, I got an issue. I don't know what your issue is today. But if you got an issue, we all got issues from time to time. Yours might be finances. Yours may be unbelief. Yours may be chill. Whatever your issue is, if you can find a promise in the word of God and find out where it stands in specific and your faith can get built up and you're willing to stand on that promise, put your life on the line. You've tried this and tried that and tried that, but you only grew worse and worse and worse. But somewhere your faith got built up. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I don't have to settle for what I'm dealing with. I don't have to settle for this issue I got on my plate. I don't have to settle another day. I believe God. I'm not talking about in general, but I can take you to the verse and the scripture to show you that what I have, God said in his word, then you get to God. It might be his him. It might be his sock. It might be his neck. It might be his elbow. I don't know, but you put that thing that together and you get to that and you press past whatever you gotta press past you get to God you can leave here healed it said in that moment in that moment she was made whole when your faith connects with your effort and what you gotta do to get there see sometimes it is receiving anointing and praying. Sometimes it might be midnight at home. I'm searching the scriptures. I'm not reading the Bible to say I had a devotion. I got an issue. I'm not playing no games with this. I got some things I'm dealing with. I'm seeking God's word and my faith is getting built up. And then I'm putting forth the effort that I have to put forth to receive it. It said immediately she was made whole. No, immediately it was staunched. Then Jesus came and he said, whoa, whoa, who touched me? Who touched me? They looked at Jesus and said, Peter said, the spokesman, all these folk elbowing you, hitting you, rubbing against you. Why are you talking and saying who? There's 20 people around you right now. We are John, Th Thomas, uh, Bartha, we are, t and they, t they pushing us. He said, no, 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 they didn't, they, 20 people went to the altar, but somebody touched me. 20 people got prayed for. But somebody came in with a confidence in God's word. She said, but if I, but they felt like she was crazy. What are you talking? She said, if I can touch the hem of his garment, just, 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 no, if I can get him to lay hands on him, no, 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 just get me to the hem. If I can just get, if I, he's coming, if I can just get to the, I believe God's word. I believe his word. It don't matter. Y'all can be unbelieving. I believe his word. If I can just get to the hem and touch the hem of his garment. My if God, I can just get to him, I'm it said the blood. Once she touched, she came <laughs> almost there. Sometimes, right before you get there, some people come, opposition come. Get back, lady. <laughs> Give up. See, now you got 20 people ran back between. You got to go. <laughs> and she finally got to him, just touch. <laughs> Glory. My Lord, my God, my God, my God, my Lord. Jesus said, Whoa, whoa, yeah, 
Yes. Come Amen. On. So now she's sitting here and go, go, go over, Frank. I'm sorry. Amen. Singers, get ready. Go, 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 go over real quick to, uh, oh, my Lord, help me, please. Go over to uh, verse number. Go back to the text, Frank. Start reading the middle of the verse. We'll find it. And the woman having an issue of blood 12 uh -huh. years. Yes. Which has spent all her living upon physicians. Come on. Neither could be healed of any. Yes. Came behind him. Came behind him. And touched the border and of touched his the garment. Border of his garment. Come on, read. And immediately. And immediately. Her issue of blood staunched. Her issue of blood staunched. And Jesus said. Jesus said. Who touched me? Who touched me? When all denied, uh -huh. Peter and they that were with him said, Master. The multitude strong thee. Come on. And press thee. Yes. And sayest thou, who touched me? Come on. And Jesus said, Come on. Somebody have touched Somebody me. Somebody touched me. For I perceive Come on. that yeah. virtue has gone out of me. Amen. They took Amen. something from me. Come on, brother. And when the woman saw Amen. that she was hit, not hid. Come on. She came trembling. Yes. And falling down before him. Yes. She declared unto him. Yes. Before all the people. Yes. For what cause she had touched him. Okay. And how she say, was say, healed. Say, say, hold on. You want your healing? You're about to receive it right here. You want your healing? It's not about you. Follow this point. We're done. Singers, get ready. Most people that's going after their healing is focusing on themselves. I need my, I want to, I want to. It said, he said, who did this? What, why did you do? Wouldn't stay in the back. And take her healing and go home. But she came, humbled herself trembling, and declared all what happened. She preached the gospel. She said, Whoa. Right. I read in your word My God. about the show. I read about God. the tisset. I read over in Malachi where he said the healings where it would be. I had confidence in your word. I knew your word is forever settled in heaven. I knew you had to back up on your word. My faith, according to my faith, I heard you preach in faith, according to my faith, be it unto me. I believe God. My God. Understood my God. what I had to do to get there, and then I only knew I just got I got the word, I got the faith. Now I just gotta press. So she said, then I knew I had to press. So I had to press past some stuff. I had to press. When she got done preaching, what did Jesus say? And when, she, and when the woman saw that she was not hid, yes, she came trembling and falling down before him. Come on, she declared unto him before all the people. She declared unto him. Cause, all she the people. Him. She preached the gospel. If she gave all the glory to him, come on and read. And how she was healed immediately. Come on and read. And he said unto her, Yes, daughter. Yes, be of good comfort. Be of good comfort. You've been lonely for a while, but be of good comfort, daughter. You've been out there, but you a daughter now. Daughter, come on and read, brother. Thy faith have made thee whole. Whoa. Whoa. Thy faith. I'm already healed. Thy faith has made thee whole. Amen. No. You done lost some friends over this. My God. You done lost some finances over this. My Lord. You done lost some years because of this. My God. You get a hold of God the right way. Amen. He said, thy faith yes. has made thee. You getting back everything you lost. My Lord. With this situation. My God. You getting your home back. If you had children, you getting them back. My Lord. You get, matter of fact, I'm going to roll back the years, the locust that they My I'm God. My your God. Youth because you done spent 12 years. I'm going to give you 12 years back. I'm making you whole. I'm making you because you done press. See, what happens, saints of God, when you have faith and you press and then you declare it God will do more than you came for because he know you're going to give him all the glory my Lord. Oh, God is saying you're not asking for healing so you can just do your own thing make more money do what you want to do that's why many people only get grace they're saved and they don't want to turn to man so God gives them grace but other folks said Lord this is about you I want you to get glory for this I want to go all over the world I want to take some pictures of what I got. I want to show what I'm dealing with and I have faith and I believe God. This is about the seventh seal. This is about the end time glory. Signs and wonders shall follow them. I understand. 
I read the book. I seen the prophecy. I know that he blessed back in the 60s. He blessed back in the 70s. But we need some 2019 miracles. I know he's coming back for a glorious shirt. I read oh, Lord, the prophecy. Lord, the prophecy is what inspired her to believe. And the prophecy will inspire you. He's not coming back for a faithless church. He's not coming back for the glory of 40 years ago. He's coming. The Bible said the path of the just shall be as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto his perfect day. He said the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. God is saying if you can believe it, if you're in position, my if you Lord, understand God, where we're God. at in the gospel day, then your faith can my make Lord, you whole. My God. If I can but touch. Touch the hem of the his, hem God, of his God. garment. My God. By prophecy. My Lord. By faith. My Lord. By effort. My God. Receive your healing. My Lord. May God bless you. Sir. Amen. My Lord. Yes. My God. My God. Amen. As the singer sing. My Lord. We need to pray. My God. My God. My Lord. Praise God. Amen. Shall we stand? Shall we stand? Yes. Amen. Amen. My God, my God. The woman with the issue of blood wasn't about her. It's about God. Lord, may we consecrate ourselves. It's not about us. It's about God. Yes, sir. Lord, if I gotta press past some stuff. A lot of stuff, man. I'll press past whatever I need to press past. One of the first things you have to press past is unbelief. She had that condition for 12 years. You end up with a condition for a while. You'll end up just holding on, just holding on, getting grace. You'll get to end up accepting partial victories. I'm feeling a little bit better. You don't want the saints to really know how bad it is. But well, God is helping me. God is, this morning, we want to inspire faith, get a word from the Lord as it pertains. In Mark 9, 23, Jesus said unto them, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to them that believe. Just believe this morning and walk out here different. My God. James 5, 14, he says, is any sick among you? My Lord. Let him call for the elders of the church. Amen. Let them pray over him, anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. In Isaiah 53, 5, he said, but he was wounded My God. for our transgressions. Amen. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. 1 Peter 2, 24 said, who was who he who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whom stripes we are healed My God. Psalms 147 3 he healeth the broken in heart Amen. and bindeth up their wounds Exodus 15 26 if thou would diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments and keep his statutes I will put none of these diseases upon you but I have bought that I have bought upon the Egyptians for I am the Lord that that healeth thee. My God. Luke 4 to 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel. Not just preach, but sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, recover of sight to the blind. Amen. To set at liberty them that are bruised. In John 3 verse 1 and 2, he said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. Those that need prayer this morning, May your faith be inspired. He said in Matthew 21, 22, and all things whatsoever ye ask in prayer, believe ye shall receive. If you're ever in a situation in which your faith has been inspired, if you can believe, if you can believe, he said you shall receive what you came for. 
Romans 10 17 says so faith cometh by hearing thank God we heard God's word today and hearing by the word of God Hebrews 11 6 but without faith is impossible Mark 11 22 and Jesus answered and said unto them have faith in God Luke 1 37 for with God nothing shall be impossible 2nd Corinthians 5 7 we walk by faith and not by sight as they sing if there's any that need prayer to be saved to be sanctified to be healed if your faith has been inspired you make your move you press past you receive as we sing My God. She pressed through the crowd, so weak and so frail. So often she'd reached out, but her efforts failed. With faith so persistent, determined, she must touch Jesus. Her friends said, just give up. For after 12 years of heartaches and failures, disappointments and fears, accept your condition with the multitude. He pray will saints, pray saints, somebody go see us. Praise saints, praise saints, praise saints. I can hear her rejoicing as she looks down the lane. She sees someone coming and they're calling his name. Son of David, Messiah, she heard someone call him the healer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The crippled and lame were now leaping for joy. Those who were blind were beholding the Lord. Would this be the moment, or would hindrance as Happy many conceal her? Her heart fast as he came into sight and her emotions were filled with both joy and with pride she let him pass by but not out of reach and she touched his garment he turned to speak someone's been healed today a miracle passed your way Touch my clothes, you now are made whole. Step forward and claim. Your faith has pulled you through. My, my, my. Yeah. Your healing has come to you. You can receive today, right now, in Jesus' name. My, my, my. Thank you, says give up you're close to a miracle come on jesus is passing your way god's still in business and does the impossible thank you Lord. our blessings each day you can be healed today you let a miracle pass your way Reach out to cheers close, you now are made whole. Step forward and claim. You, your faith will pull you through. Love, yeah. And your healing will come to you. I know you can receive today, right now in Jesus' name. You can receive today, right now, in Jesus' name. The healer is passing your way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give us one verse of song if we want to pray for somebody whose faith has been inspired. Just give us one verse of song and they may come forth. If your faith has been inspired, this is not for everybody. Some of us, we need to work on the word that came forth today, that God inspires us, that there is a word for your situation. Healing is not general, it's personal. 
is personal. You read throughout scripture, you often see it was a personal situation. Yes, he can deal with the masses, but many times it's personal. That person, that man who was there, the water with trouble, that one, that one received it. That one. Paul was preaching. He said, whoa, I perceive you. He didn't say y'all. He said, I perceive you got faith to be healed. Is anybody, we know we got some in the prayer room, several kneeling. But if your faith has been inspired this morning, you want to be prayed for, we're going to pray for you. Let's sing just a verse or two of song, and you may come out. These sicknesses are not to the glory of God. If you want to be saved or healed. Have you ever heard of Jesus? My, my. How he came from heaven to earth. My Lord. With the name of mighty virtue. Though by very humble birth. When the world was held in bondage. Under Satan's dismal sway. Jesus healed the dread diseases. He is just the same today. My Lord. He is just the same today. He is just the same today. Just the same today. Yes, he knew it as a lead. Set the suffering captive free. And he's just the same today. Listen. Do you see the people gathered round that great and holy we man? We believe in divine healing. Bringing all the sick and suffering, coming to him. God is all that he says he is or is nothing. 